In a serene village nestled deep within the mountains, there lived a man named Hiroshi. He was known throughout the land for his profound wisdom, his remarkable successes, and his peaceful demeanor. Hiroshi was a silent man, one who seldom spoke unless necessary, but his actions spoke volumes. From a young age, Hiroshi had been fascinated by the teachings of the Zen masters. He often visited the temple at the top of the hill, where a wise old monk named Master Takeshi resided. Master Takeshi had a reputation for offering sage advice in few words, and Hiroshi was drawn to his teachings like a moth to a flame. One day, Hiroshi approached the temple with a heady heart. His village was facing a severe drought, and the crops were withering away. The villagers were distressed and turned to Hiroshi for help. Master Takeshi listened attentively as Hiroshi poured out his concerns. My words may not be of much use, Master Takeshi said with a serene smile, but I will offer you a challenge. Return to your village and dig a well in the center of the village square. Do this in complete silence, speaking only when it's necessary to instruct the villagers. Hiroshi nodded, accepting the challenge, and returned to the village. Without uttering a word, he began digging a well. The villagers were perplexed by his silence, but followed his actions diligently. Days turned into weeks, and Hiroshi's well took shape. The villagers marveled at his dedication and began to trust his silent guidance. Finally, one evening, Hiroshi struck water. The entire village erupted in joy, and the once depleted spirits were revitalized. They had a newfound respect for Hiroshi's silence and his unwavering commitment to the task. Over time, Hiroshi's village flourished. The well he had dug provided ample water, and the crops began to thrive once again. Hiroshi's silent wisdom became legendary. People from neighboring villages sought his counsel on various matters, and he offered his guidance without the need for lengthy explanations. One day, a wealthy merchant named Kenzo visited the village. Kenzo had heard tales of Hiroshi's wisdom and sought him out for advice on expanding his business. He found Hiroshi sitting beneath a cherry blossom tree, observing the world around him with a serene gaze. Great sage, Kenzo said with reverence, I have traveled far to seek your guidance. My business is successful, but I wish to expand it further. How can I achieve this? Hiroshi looked at Kenzo and then pointed to the cherry blossom tree. Kenzo was puzzled and awaited further explanation, but none came. Instead, Hiroshi returned to his silent contemplation. Perplexed but intrigued, Kenzo returned to his business. He sat under a tree similar to the one he had seen Hiroshi beneath and watched the cherry blossoms gently fall. As he observed, he realized the tree didn't rush its blossoms or force them to fall. They fell naturally, in their own time. Inspired by this insight, Kenzo began to approach his business with patience and a sense of natural timing. He allowed opportunities to unfold at their own pace and didn't rush decisions. Slowly but surely, his business expanded and he found success beyond his expectations. Kenzo returned to Hiroshi to express his gratitude and share his story. Hiroshi remained silent but smiled warmly, acknowledging Kenzo's understanding. From that day on, Hiroshi's fame as a silent sage spread even further. People came from far and wide to seek his guidance, and his village became a hub of wisdom and prosperity. Hiroshi's success was a testament to the power of silent observation, patient action, and the wisdom of Zen. And so, the tale of Hiroshi, the silent sage, was told for generations, reminding all that success need not always be accompanied by a multitude of words, but by actions that speak louder than any speech.